How's it going everybody out there? Welcome back to the channel. It's Brother D here, back with another video. Hopefully you all are well, enjoying your holiday season with your friends and your family. Uh, today's video is prompted by an event that took place yesterday at my place of work. Uh, if you see the title here, it says Christian Conduct. A couple of years ago, I made a video titled Christian Conduct. Um, in a nutshell, it is it was basically about, you know, how should a Christian carry themselves? How should they act in public, in private? You know that integrity is very, very important to God and that as believers in Christ, we are ambassadors here on earth and we represent the body of Christ. We, we just do. There's no getting out of it. <laughs> if you're a believer in Christ, you represent Christ. So what you do matters. What you say matters. Regardless of whether you believe it doesn't or not, it's not about what you think. It's not about what you believe. It is about what the Bible teaches. There was a situation that occurred yesterday. Sometimes I take my kids with me to my job. I'm blessed to be able to do that. Some people can't say that they can do that, but I can take my kids with me anytime I want to. And one of my kids just so happens to always ask me, can I go to work with you? And sometimes I say no, because it's gonna be a long day, but yesterday was not a long day. So I decided to take him to work with me, okay? As we get to work, we get to a certain part of the gym to where, because I work in a gym, a certain part of the gym to where music is allowed to be played. I walk in there with my son, who's nine years old, by the way, and this music was blasting with explicit language, just profanity. It was horrible really bad and my son it was it was um two people in there there was another trainer in there and there was his client the trainer claims to be a christian he claims to walk with god this music's blasting and my son is closing his ears he's nine years old He's closing his ears because he knows what he hears is impure and it's not right. So I knew at that moment that the guy had to feel embarrassed. So he went and turned the music off, turned it down, changed it to something else that didn't have explicit language in it. And it actually really made me upset because I'm like, you know, not only is this unprofessional, this is a place of business. And how do you know that people are not going to be offended? Because not everybody listens to secular music. Not everybody likes to hear ex explicit language. Okay? This is a place of recreation. This is a place where people come to get better mentally, physically, and all of the above. And they don't want to hear this. Most people don't want to hear that. Like, what you listen to in private or on your own time is... That's your business. But for you to also be a Christian listening to this, it's embarrassing. It's an embarrassment to the body of Christ. And I said it. A month ago, I made a video, should Christians listen to secular music? Go back and check it out. But it is an embarrassment for a believer in Christ to be blasting that music because number one, it just completely contradicts the way that God wants us to live our lives. It completely contradicts it. The Bible tells us to not let any corrupt communication proceed out of our mouths. And God calls us to be holy, which means to be set apart from the rest of the world. If the rest of the world is listening to little Wayne and the baby, why, wouldn't, why do you think it's okay for you to? If the Bible calls us to be separated from those who do wicked. This is exactly why the world thinks that Christians are hypocrites. You know why? Because they are. And I'm a Christian. A real one. Who tries his best to walk upright. 
to be holy. I ain't say be perfect, but to be holy. And that's something that I can do. Is separate myself from the things that the that that people do in this world to not partake in, in evil actions. Things like that push Christians away from churches. Things like this push atheists away from even giving Jesus a chance. They really do. Some of the actions that some of these Christians do push people away from Christ. I apologize to my son. I told him I'm going to do whatever I got to do to make sure that this never happens again. And I'm and like I said, everybody who says that that they're a Christian, that they're not that doesn't necessarily mean that they're a Christian. You can verbally say it all you want. But it doesn't mean that you're a Christian. Most of this country, I'm in the USA, by the way, identifies as Christian anyway. But that doesn't mean that they bear the fruit of the spirit. It doesn't mean that they live their life by the scriptures. It doesn't mean that they walk in holiness. Like all of the things that God calls us to do. When did it become okay to label yourself a Christian and just completely not do what the Bible says. I mean, are, did, are we, did we just throw the Bible away? Did we just forget what the scripture is saying? Are we just going to ignore God's word and just, I'm a Christian, but I'm going to live the way I want. That's not how it works. The Bible says that you know them by their fruits and a branch that does not bear fruit will be cast into the fire. Don't forget that part now. Real talk. If you're a Christian, I'm not saying you got to be perfect because there's no way in the world I would ever even consider myself to be perfect. I am flawed. I make mistakes. But I also know right from wrong and obviously wrong. Justifying sin for your own narrative or lifestyle is, is, is not going to that's not going to cut it. That's not. The Bible tells us that God is going to judge us for every action and every account that we commit on this earth. Everything. You, you know right from wrong. Real talk. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. Give the video a like. Peace.